Uh, I was gonna. I have to clean up. I'm in the living room. I have to clean up the living room while I fall asleep. And this clock says two, so it's probably not. Um, yeah. Uh, Jerry's gonna be here. Jerry Strong. Um, I got work to be done on the ceiling, but um, I was. Anyway, he's gonna start with it doing the gutter today. I guess I'm just gonna get a price. Cause um. I, I called myself recuperating. Last time I was on, I called myself recuperating, and I just fell asleep. I mean, like, I gotta put this stuff up, and knickknacks, stuff over there, and I, <coughs> this TV, oh, well, that's Rebecca. It's like a show over there, but anyway, I don't know if you can see there, or Rebecca, and then there's in the shelf and anyway there's books and stuff like I you know I just go from one room to the next and um but anyway I fell asleep I did not recuperate it's so hot um I got the gutter stuff in here so I got everything for him to do that part because that doesn't mean to do that because I can't even come in without the water just in the rain of course but the other thing hasn't rained I didn't go out and water my plants I ended up just Falling asleep, but I, uh, and I, I was so disappointed in the um, the newspaper because I was going to start getting a newspaper, but I was going to go pick it up because um, I had told a few people don't take newspaper that these couple of guys bring around because they steal it off of people's, you know, the driveway. But anyway, so well, there was nothing in the newspaper. The only thing in the newspaper was the propaganda about the police getting along with lesbians and HI. I, I just threw that out when I got up. But about HIV, they have it really bad here. And one of the reasons they have, you know, uh, um, the lesbian, the gay community has it really bad is because, you know, it's, it's, it's when you're around racists and ignorance, the racist people, they judge and label everybody um, in such a negative light. Uh, and then they always try to prove things to you by tearing your stuff up or, uh, you know, like, I don't know, type of, you know, narcissistic stuff. You know, that's why I don't like to deal with the people around here. But anyway, uh, I'll just, because I have to choose a color for in here. Mom was like red. I was supposed to call her back, but I couldn't call her back after that red. I don't know. <laughs> in my, in my, in my, these are, these used to be handkerchiefs. I need some little pillows. No, a pillow. A lot of time. A lot of time on my hands here. But anyway, um, it's so hot. I never did recuperate from that heat. And I, so. I'm, I'm trying to hydrate. This is water. My old juice stuff. I had juice and, uh, oh, and a streak of water. So I was, and so I had fell asleep then. Slept really good. But anyway, there's a lot of work. <clears throat> a lot of work has to be done in this house. But we're going to, I got the other room empty. This one, I guess I have to, I'm going to have to, um, i just do one one at a time. Ridiculous. Even though I got like, I got about three rooms tore up. This room is, is the one I want done first, actually painted. So, oh, uh, I'm gonna put all this. I'm just, I'm just gonna move all the glass out and put everything else in the middle and cover it up. I don't know why I think about that earlier because I was just looking at it. Next thing I know, I fell asleep. Like, where do you start? That mess. My hair always sticks up in the back, please. Anyway, I'm going to see if there's a good um, movie on you who I'm not going to try to think about how crazy the police are, you know, because, like, basically, with me being a single female, you know, um, at one time, um, I was at the illusion that if you, if you had, you know, like, some troubles, then you call the police. Now the only illusion I have is that they come after, you know, the crime. 
So it's not like they're gonna come. Like when they were having that um that the police were having that strike here because um they were doing all this overtime and doing all this work. I know they were running around harassing me, you know, and um you know they might do one or two busts around over here, but basically it, it, the the bus that they do is somebody coming back in the neighborhood, you know, like a guy, you know, or, or, or something, and 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 bumping the the well-established drug running because I'll be honest with you, you see the same people that, that um been been doing the drugs or selling drugs to these little kids and you know they just like to get them in in mid school and pretty much um I don't know. That that's gonna be their occupation. Even their mom talked about, oh my baby when I was um uh, when I was young they were talking about, oh my baby gonna be a gangster. And then um they like across the street or something just went to jail. And he's like she was like, Oh well isn't that your buddy? And I had to tell her, you know, no and then I thought I looked at her, I said, we argue every other Tuesday, he just lives around the corner, and um, the mom's staying here. My pa- so anyway, I see all her children, so, and I hadn't seen him, and somebody else already told me I'd been in jail, and she was like, I guess she probably talked to him, and he probably told her. <laughs> but no, I had bumped uh, weed from him a few times, that's about it, but, uh, you know, but, uh, um, but these ladies around here, they, you know, which in a way, like, um, you know, because I had the cops, you know, all over this yard. But anyway, um, it don't really matter because um, that kid, I mean, I mean, almost all, all the kids his age, he ain't never worked. He's like 27, got two kids, never had a job. Um, and when he comes out, he's not going to work. You know, they might try to get him to work, but he doesn't have... He doesn't have any work history, and the only thing they'll do here is just, you know, just really just make them a worse person like they've done it like a lot of other people. They really ruin them. Then they dump them back in society, and you got this crazy person, you know, that now 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 he got an attitude that you know what's it all about? It's useless, you know. Who cares? You know, don't get. And I tell you. I think the police whole thing is 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 just really trying. Well, the way it is now, they're destroying the whole fabric of Memphis. I mean, it's very poor state. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to worry about a terrorist here because you know the terrorists are smart. Yeah, if you drop a bomb in Memphis, you think the United States would care? You'd have some black people even going, oh, well. You know, they just don't do what the white person tells them to do. I don't know. We, 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 we give them this, we give them this little space and, you know, you know, and like, oh, well, don't worry. They're going to be like, I hate this time of year when it comes out where it's close to the holidays. And then they want us to all line up to get their white man Santa Claus shit. Anyway, I'm just tired. I didn't, I haven't recuperated. I don't know. It's just so, it's so, so freaking hot. Anyway, I mean, it's cool in here. I got a fan on me, but this fan, my sister was right, this fan does not oscillate, so, and I think I got to cut it. Anyway, I'm, I, I think I'm, and there's so many books around here, so I don't think, it's gonna take me a while. This to put me back to sleep, way of how. Or there's a man over there. I do like, um, I do like Nora Roberts. Oh, well, I, I got a decision to make. See, I hate it when I got too many things. I got to decide what colors in here, and then I got to take all these glass stuff out. Probably can't see all the knickknacks. But anyway, I look over here. I got VH. There's a VH machine, and there's some VH tanks. And this. <laughs> I don't know if you can say modern day society. But anyway. Oh, this looks like a good Daniel Stills book. You know what? I don't remember a very strange trip with that Earl. You know, Ron Hughes. That's what I want to do. Ah, good science fiction. You know. I, that, that, you know. Oh, that's my problem. I was like, oh, so much to do.
I definitely gotta come and start. So I gotta get, at least get an estimate. The floor has to be done, uh, has to be painted, and a hundred more things. Uh, yeah, and the ceiling, it had fell, so. I really gotta hurry up because I gotta move this glass, so. Anyway, we're, we're gonna put this, this ceiling has to have new drywall. There was a, a ceiling fan, but I removed the ceiling fan and put a light fixture. And now I know why there was a ceiling fan in here. But because of the age of the house and, you know, like, uh, the way the electricity is plugged up, then I just don't want to put extra strains, uh, on the system that's already old. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and read and try to you know try to maybe just pull off. And I'll just I'll just play it by ear. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off on the outside tomorrow because I I got the stuff until the floor. I got it all piled up. That's the stuff we're gonna use for the gutter. Down there is the gutter and some wood, two things, nails and stuff. So I got everything. <laughs> So everything just piled up. So I know eventually when it, everything gets done and like, it's all finished, and I won't feel like I'm in such a hot mess. Huh. I don't, you know, but the, but it's an older house, and I think I think what they want, everybody's like, oh, you need to wrap it, you know, like the house is cider or, or, or whatever, or that, that bricks or something. I like the idea of bricks, but it is an old frame house, long, it's an old long house. And, you know, so, I don't know. Actually, I do like bricks, but like, you know, like the siding, I, it could be that fake white wood siding or whatever it is. I don't know. It's just some damn decision. Oh, <laughs> uh, my mom's supposed to be coming here, so, wait. Hey, she wants to go here. Uh, I think I'm going to pay before she gets here. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle red. All right. Uh, signing off to, at this clock says 3.30. So, oh, it's probably, it's 3.30. So this the clock in here hasn't been changed. All right. I don't know if to say good night or good morning. Uh, adios.